prescriptions and I just want to go home and I don't know what to do with all this. This is such a waste of your time. All these prescriptions, it'll take you forever. Like you said, there's no place like home. Why are you here? Dorothy, you need to stay in line. The doctor wants you to take these prescriptions and the pharmacist will fill them as fast as they can. They'll take good care of you, I promise. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Ah, you don't. What? He can't help you. Why? The way you are is just the way that you are. Rusty. The pharmacist can't. Rusty. The oh. pharmacist can't help you. You might as well leave. Okay. This is just the way you'll be for the rest of your life. Hey man, huh? don't let her tell you that pharmacists can't help you. Just by sitting down and talking with the pharmacist can help to decrease adverse side effects and help improve your quality of life. It's called MTM, Medication Therapy Management, and it can improve your being rusty. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I just want to get my courage back. Fine. You're going to look so silly asking the pharmacist a question. <laughs> you can't be the king of the jungle. <laughs> you might as well pack up your tail and go back to the zoo. Mrs. Lyon, don't believe her. The pharmacist is your friend. She's here to answer all your questions, even the most embarrassing ones. I think hay and fire interact with each other, but I'm just not too sure. Maybe I should just give a quick dial to the pharmacist. Uh, I, I don't know. Scarecrow, put this phone down. You are the doctor. The pharmacist is way too busy, and there's no question that he can answer that you can't answer by yourself. You don't need him. You might be right. I am. Dr. Scarecrow, call the pharmacist. She's great. She's helped you so many times in the past. You know you can always count on her to give you the right answer. Oh, yeah? Yep. I just, I'm just going to go to the pharmacy in person and talk to them myself. Hush, Toto. Be nice. No, Toto. Hush. Toto, you just need to start calming down. I got this prescription for you for this medication. I don't know what it is, but I just don't think dogs should be on medication. And there's a purse I really want to buy, and I just don't have enough money for both, and I don't know what to do. Miss? Yes. I think I overheard that you were going to spend a lot of money on your dog. Yeah. What about that new purse that you want? I really, really want it. It's nice. And plus, I don't understand what you're doing here anyway. This place is for people, not dogs. Just take him for a walk. He'll be fine. Go buy your purse. You deserve it. Miss, don't listen to her. You can't let your little one suffer. Toto can get his medication here just like any person could. He can? And he deserves it, too. He's always been a good little pet. And don't worry, the medication won't be as expensive as you think it is. The pharmacist will help you. So I can get my purse and get his medication? You sure can. Oh, okay. Dorothy? Hi. Hi. I just got out of the hospital and I have all these prescriptions and I don't know what to do with them and I just want to go home. Okay. Uh, you seem troubled. Uh, can I help you, help you with anything? Yeah, I just, I just really want to go home. Okay. We'll get this ready as for you as fast as we can, okay? There you go. Uh, now I just want to go over this uh, medication for you and on, on how to use it, so I'll just be a few minutes, okay? Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, um, so I'm on a lot of different medications, and I might be a little rusty if you can't tell. Um, I heard about medication therapy management. Is this where I go to do that? Uh, yes, we can help you with that. Um, we can just go ahead and um, help you go through your medications and make sure there's no interactions with them. And, uh... Oh, good. Look, I feel better already. My rust is coming right off. Mrs. Light? Hi, I have this prescription. I'm really embarrassed about it. I don't have any courage, so can you just fill it really quickly? I see you're a little um, timid about talking about this. Yeah. Do you want to go back to my counseling area and yeah. we can talk about this? Um, Mrs. Light, it's okay, this prescription. Um, it's for um, to help you get back your courage. Okay. Some people use, lose their courage from time to time, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay? that's great. Dr. Scarecrow? 
Hello, Pharmacist of Oz. Hi, Doctor. I had a quick question that I wasn't too sure about. I have patients that come to me, and I want to prescribe to them hay and fire. I wasn't too sure if that was a safe combination. Doctor, well, I would highly suggest you not prescribe those two together, as they have a, a, quite a lethal interaction together. Oh, really? Yes. That's good to know. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here. Toto? Hi, I'm Toto's owner. Um, my dog here, he's a little nervous, and well, thank you. But he's a really antsy fellow. He's always running around and barking and squirming, and I just can't get stuff done. And, and uh, well, there's this purse I really want to buy, and this medication is really expensive. Is there any way I could get maybe a cheaper medication, say a generic for Toto? Oh, yes, I could definitely look that up for you and see if we could um, get a generic for that for you. So, so uh, great. could you just wait for a few minutes so sure. I have to help go out and check that for you? Sure, thank you so much. happen in the wonderful world of Oz Pharmacy. This happens in every pharmacy in the United States. 